Nikopi, here with a let's play of Neo, the world ends with you. Yup, that's right, guys. <laughs> We're back to the world of the world ends with you. Holy crap, it feels like it's been a billion years, or at least six. <laughs> that's right, I, I played the original game back in 2015. Uh, and even back then, I think the game had already been out for a good while. So this, uh, this sequel has been a long time coming from a lot of fans. Now, I personally, I was a fan. I did enjoy uh, The World Ends With You, the original, um, but I definitely had a few, a few issues with it, a few things I wasn't crazy about. So I don't know if I would necessarily would have called myself a diehard fan, but I definitely wanted to see the game come back in some form. So I'm glad to see that the, this sequel did end up getting released, even though I think for when I've heard this game, it's not sold super well. So I don't know if the odds of another game happening beyond this point. That said, fortunately, it does sound like the people who have played it, the fans and the reception for the game have been uh, really good. Now, I do just want to say right off the bat, if you have not played the first game or plan to play it at some point, I really recommend maybe you either go play it or maybe go watch my Let's Play of it from a while ago. It may not as have aged as great as some of my most recent videos because it is a pretty old series at this point or at the very least you can watch uh one of the included videos i'm actually gonna include two uh in the description down below to help give you a recap of things that happened maybe you're like me you just hadn't played in a while and you just want to remember how it goes as well as another video that goes even deeper into the uh the new content that was added to the uh re-releases of the original game the recap video does cover that as well but if you, if you want to see like these exact cutscenes, you just want to watch it yourself you can do that too i actually personally went back and watched that whole recap video including the uh the stuff added so that is stuff that i am going to be talking about as well as uh my thoughts and opinions and stuff about the first game so let me go ahead and click on this real quick uh we got the options here Dialogue autoplay. Uh, I hope it's autoplay with voice acting. I hope I hope that's not like autoplaying without voice acting. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to definitely turn that off. Uh, no, yes, I never want subtitles on. Uh, voices. Okay, we do have voice acting in some of some form. Uh, we're just keeping on English for now. Hopefully, it's hopefully it's a good dub. Damn, that's a loud ass sound effect, dude. Holy shit! <laughs> Seriously, this sound right here. Uh, like after holy shit it's insanely loud i'm like looking and almost like peaking my fucking audio but yeah it's been a long ass time since i played the uh, original game um and like i said i did really enjoy it i i when i went back over the recap video i remember the things that i really liked about it and i say the the biggest things were the style of it had a really unique and uh, great style very much the, you know tetsuya nomura's artwork as well but uh, everyone had like these dark outlines around them which clearly they're carrying over here uh it just looks really cool the setting and the like actual world building and like the rules of the reapers game that they set up were really interesting too and i also like that how the plot ends up progressing is you end up going through three reapers games basically but it never felt like you were like repeating or doing the same thing again and again like they always make sure to to like spice things up every time you got a new partner so it always felt like the narrative was still moving in a forward direction uh the characters are really great i did actually end up liking neku after uh towards the end as he opened up a bit more and to be honest he opens up fairly early he, like he opens up pretty much with shiki so it's not like he's not like squall where it's like literally in like the final hours of the game where he becomes tolerable i thought the battle system itself was was cool i don't know if i would say it was great though it was definitely unique like there wasn't anything quite like it and i i have to sort of praise them for trying a very like unusual and interesting approach to uh the nintendo ds's dual screens at least the original one i, I know i think they ended up changing it a bit for like the re-release remasters i'm not really sure how they did that but all i can really comment on is the uh the original ds one and it was very much a scratching your head and rubbing your tummy kind of thing where you try to like navigate both screens at the same time though i don't know if i would say it's necessarily super deep because in the end what really ended up happening was i ended up just kind of mashing buttons towards the end of the game which is why I, I liked beat probably the best as the best partner of all of them because for his all i really had to do was just mash the shit out of buttons and things happen with probably to be honest i think joshua ended up being my least favorite because uh despite him actually being the strongest one his ended up like requiring the most like i need to focus on what he was doing <laughs> however i will say even before i saw the recap video the thing that i did still remembered the most from that game sadly the thing that ended up sticking with me was still the plot point that i i remarked i remarked at the time that i thought was incredibly stupid um and after watching the recap video yep it's still really stupid which is basically the old switcheroo of 
Oh man, I saw Joshua kill me. Oh wait, he shot the guy behind me. Oh wait, no, he did shoot and kill me. I think it's a general writing rule, right? You can maybe like say an initial uh, action or something was misinterpreted in some way, but you do not then go back and say, no way, I was right the first time. There's just no way to pull that off without it being supremely stupid. But yeah, the whole like the Reapers, the producers, the composers, or I guess, I guess composer and producer, uh, all the different positions within the Reapers game and how all the rules and stuff work was really cool. was very interesting. And I did finish that game feeling uh, excited for whatever ended up coming out. Um, so I did watch also the uh, the ending bit so that when they released this game, the remastered version, re-released it, they ended up including some additional content that sort of would segue into this game. Um, and to sort of get the TLDR version of it, um, for what I could take, Basically, suddenly Neku and Beat are brought back into the Reapers game, even though at, by the end of the game, they were they were seemingly alive and back to their regular daily lives with a weird sort of like little pink hair, punky little uh, Reaper or sort of follow them around. And he went and did some stuff and everything seemed really weird. Like characters didn't act like who they were. Like Joshua was apparently weirdly shy and like, Shiki and Brime were there, but they didn't seem like their regular selves. And by the end, you figured out that apparently uh, this world they were in, this Reapers game was fr was based off a uh, noise. And the noise was like the, are like the monsters of the game. Uh, it was like created from a really powerful noise that was coming from this girl. So they escape from it, but then seemingly uh, Shinjuku just ends up getting erased anyway. But then at the end, the little girl shoots Neku and kills him. Well, Joshua shoots after her and she runs away. And then this leads into apparently a brand new game is gonna get started in some way. And at the very end, you see uh, the girl, girl reaper, uh, summoning show back from the dead again and as we can see he's right there so clearly he's gonna be in this game and i think what i remember from the trailers is that he's actually an ally too which is interesting but the question is of like we you know what happens to neku and shiki and Beat and everybody else i don't know maybe he's that character back there with a the mask on although the hair if that's supposed to be neku the hair color doesn't seem right neku's hair is more kind of red maybe that's roxas but yeah apparently show i think was brought back from the dead because she thought that neku needed a powerful ally i think that was the final scene of that bonus stuff by the way, if you guys are excited about this series, uh, please consider uh, leaving a like and subscribing to catch up with more of these videos. It really does help me out. And hey, if you're feeling super generous, why not consider checking out my Patreon page and supporting me even just a dollar over there. It really does go a long way to help me bring you guys the uh, best content possible. But yeah, so I am curious uh, how they're going to end up handling the battle system now of this game. Now that things have, you know, now shifted to a single screen. Uh, will it do what it did before and will I have to like fuck around with the touchpad or something or will it have like two screens and split screen down the middle? I, I kind of hope not. Maybe they'll do something similar to what they ended up doing with uh, the remaster versions. I, I don't know. I am I am very curious and also just where the, the story that left off uh, in the last one, where it's going to go from here. And I'm also really kind of curious to see how much of the game is actually going to really pull from the last game because a lot of times when it comes to sequels that don't come out, for many, many years, right? Or maybe just barely make it out. A lot of times those games are released in like sort of a self-contained form where there'll be only, you know, passing references to things that happened before without necessarily requiring you to play that again. I mean, I know show is right there, but I am curious how like how much of him being a bad guy seemingly in the last game, how's that how much is that gonna matter here? I think show all all show wanted to do in the last game was he wanted, he wanted to become the composer, though I don't know if we really know why he wanted to. And we also learned at the end, of course, that Joshua was the original composer. Will he be in this game? I don't know. <laughs> we have many questions, many new characters, and I am excited to uh, see what uh, what this leads to. I've heard nothing but good things about this, so. All right. Right to it, huh? No, like, difficulty or anything, so. No proud mode or, or critical mode or anything. Because I do remember the... Oh! Right into it. That bit blip. Holy shit. Is that the erasing of Shinjuku from before? That was, or that was, well, Shinjuku's just a part of Shibuya, right? Or like to the south of it? Cause that wasn't actually Shibuya, Adam think Ooh, look at us we're now in full 3d look at all these beautifully faceless people 
<laughs> My shoulder's vibrating. See a scramble, dude. Uh, Rin. Oh God, Rin. Where are you at? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, the crossing. You're late. How do I? How do I stop it? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, X. I'm like, it is auto scrolling and it is not voice active yet. So, I'm turning that shit off. Uh, the crossing. You're late. Where are you? Uh, forgive me. Uh, I was shopping. I don't know these people yet, so I can't get voices. So, I was shopping. Come to Unafo. What the fuck? 104. 104. Hunafo, get it? See some moats. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Shut the fuck up, you little bitch. On my way. Makes a bunch. <sighs> right. One of foe it is then. Uh, Rinji Kanade, I think? Your your body was covering part of your name. Exploring the city. Tell the last stick to move. Whoa, slow down there, game. Let's get icons you spot while you're out on town. They may trigger special events. The mini map in the bottom left ought to come in handy, too. <laughs> He's got kind of a funny little run. I'm not going to lie. Also, damn, look at that jacket, dude. Holy shit. My long coat. Wow. We in a new dimension now, boys. Uh, okay. This is, I guess, the... Oh, God, the sound. Ow! Oh, hey, no, there is a difficulty. Wow, it even tells me... What the hell? Uh, increasing difficulty will pit you against stronger noise that leave behind rarer pins. Oh, I think we could do... We could do this before, couldn't we? I think I vaguely remember this. I think it's this thing you could actively do in, in the original game, too, where you just up the difficulty, but it gave you a lot more rewards. I can also seemingly adjust my level. Increasing your level will reduce your team's HP, but increase the drop rate of pins. Wow. Of course, I can't get any lower than that. Uh, okay. Let me think this through. Okay, L1, that did this. Today's plans. Meet up with Fred outside 104. What to do? What to do? Uh, scramble crossing? Your, your swag stash? Check out the very swag you've snagged over the course of your journey from the collection section of the records menu. Think you have what it takes to complete this extensive collection? You got what it takes to slam. I wonder if I'm gonna walk, run to slam guy. I hope I do. Tin pin slammer man, or I, as I like to call him Beyblade guy. Okay, this is the song I was currently playing. Oh, interesting. Can I actually play this like whenever I want? Wow, there's a lot of pins in this game. All right, yes, we're still doing the pin thing. And oh my God, threads, it's a lot. Lots of food. I think I remember the original game also having a similar kind of collect-a-thon. Okay, it's just tutorial stuff. Okay, I'm seemingly not dead yet. So the whole idea of the first game was that you would- What to do? Uh, when you died, you got stuck in like this purgatory and played a Reaper's game for a second chance at life. So I think I'm not dead yet. Not dead yet. I'm guessing what, this is probably maybe moments before we're about to see where everybody fucking eats shit. Hey. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Sure is crowded today. I've got to see Phil just right off the bat. I'm probably gonna want to give this guy like this Shuichi voice. Uh, <sighs> have a take a break, boss. Are you kidding me? We still got work to do. Holy shit. Okay, that stuff's gonna be popping up too. Fast. I gotta read fast. People got more things to say. I'm gonna run into you. Say things to me. Damn it, I can't run into physics objects and cause them to explode with my bare body. I can the Oxider Judgment Games. Hey, check it out. Ooh, this is the one you bought the other day. Yep, what do you think? I think I want one too. Why is this girl so fast? Holy shit. Oh, I see. I, it's, they, have, they have little things over their heads indicate if you want to listen in. Yeah, so someone here. Excuse me, how do you get to Hachikyo? Hachikyo, how do you mean Hachikyo? They have a dread deer right under the tree. Okay, I'm already starting to feel like I maybe shouldn't bother trying to read all those. It's auto scrolling through all of it. Gonna run over here now. 104 building. Huh? Um, it's Swallow. What if they found something good on Fango? Uh, I looked all over yesterday, but couldn't find any. Hey, Wind Wind Dragon, hope you're not too tired from exams. Ugh. Yeah, sometimes it feels like nothing spawns but trash. Trash. I'll let you know if any rare monsters pop up on my radar. God, I hope this is Tin Pin Slammer guy. Hey, you ready to slam, dude? Oh, for real? Thanks, Swallow. Namaste. No problem. 
Uh, okay. L1 outside of combat to sift through Rindo's thoughts. He jots down all the important info he learns, so review what he's recorded if you ever feel stuck. A exclamation mark will appear on the upper left every time he makes a new mental note. Let me think this through. Okay, that's just the same. Holy, wow. They really want me to gaze on this. What's oh, sorry, hit a phone? Oh my God! No, fuck it. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind trying to do this. I was gonna say, holy shit, this camera really wants my face to be in this asphalt. Seriously, I feel like if I just, if I could just aim it just slightly to any more downward, I can clip right through the ground. I see the building game. What? Hmm. Come on, please. Hmm? New curry place. Yep. Where at? Dongan Zaka. Can't replace the old ramen shop. <gasps> See, old ramen shop have uh, Makoto. I remember Makoto. I remember back then. That was back when I was playing like DR1, I think. And D or uh, maybe we even got into DR2 at this point. But I was like, oh my God, it's Nagi. And they start freaking out because he thought I was in love with him. And ah, uh, good old times. Good old times and good old memes. What? Holy shit, this. Actually. Uh. Hold. What is. Oh, I just realized the background is like distorting too. That's it. it oh, I don't know. How I feel about it. It's, it's a it's a stylistic choice for certain, but it's a making me a little sick. <laughs> to be honest, like whoa. See the building is like fucking rotating. Oh, okay. All right. My Rin dude, you finally made it. Rin dude, Tosa Furusawa. Yeah, no thanks to you. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, I had to line up for a little something I've had my eye on. Okay. Well, don't you want to know what I bought? Not really. Oh, you're killing me. Give me a guess. Fine. Clothes? Bzz, nope. Bummer. Come on, work with me here. Fine. What is it? Hint, there's one for each of us. Hmm, some kind of food? Ta-da! Ah, get away from me! What is it? A reaper pin, duh! Haven't you seen them on everyone's book bags? Maybe. Of course you have. Everyone's got them. Anyway, there I was, just checking the selection, and next thing I knew, I had two pins and an empty wallet. You blew all your money on pins? Not just any pins, Rin, dude. These things have got value. Enough to make me, of all people, wait in line for them. Here, see for yourself. Huh? Damn, nice catch, dude. Hey, watch it. If you lose it, I can't buy you another. Dude, you practically threw it at me. Uh oh, thanks. No, these, these comic style <sighs> cutscenes are cool. Very stylish. Doesn't look that special to me. What does he have like a, like, is that a, like his mask lowered or is it like a chin strap? I gotta say, I'm feeling kind of hungry. Yeah? Come on, let's grab a bite. We could, I guess. All right, now we just got to figure out what to eat. I was thinking either ramen or curry. Let's head to Dogenzaka and go from there. Grab lunch, Dogenzaka. All right, am I in the mood for ramen or curry? Or am I in the mood for fucking the end of the world? Um. All right, well, it doesn't really seem like the NPCs are auto uh, progressing, just rando talk. There doesn't really seem to be anything I examine or grab, so I guess we'll just go straight there. Dogen Zaka. Hey. Oh, okay. Now we're we're not voice acted, so not every uh, moment is gonna be voice acted, even when we're off the phone. So, all right. Uh, let's try to match this guy's voice if I can. So, what's your stomach telling you? Mm -hmm. I think he's fine with anything. But let's narrow our down our options. It feels like ramen. There's a place right over there. Oh, right. There's also a great Indian place right around the corner. Oh, and I want to check out that new curry place. Although it looks like it's not open yet. So, tell you, tell me, it's either ramen or Indian. I see some water on the ground. Uh, oh, do I actually have a choice here? I'm gonna go here. <laughs> In the mood for the men, huh? I could definitely go for a noodle bowl or three. Or five. Uh, hold on. Let me give it a little more thought. I think you've given it more than enough. Just try to make up your mind soon, okay? Is this gonna have long lasting repercussions? Whether I get Indian food or ramen food? Hey. Fish, where should you go for lunch? Out at the wrong place. Uh, I mean, curry, right? 
gotta get strong. Uh, can I go down here? I can. See a suspicious person with under individual sunglasses. Uh, wait. Hey. Oh, so this must be that new curry hey. place. Too bad it's not open yet. Yeah, it just means we'll have to come back when it, when it is. Oh, I was like, no, I'm gonna choose the third road, most traveled. Or at least travel. Or something. Alright, fuck it. Let's go with the ramen. Sure, let's eat. Ah. Right on. Let's do this. I want to see if Makoto's in here. I think it was his was a ramen place. Two for two, please. Alright, ramen time. There's a lot of art, man. Holy shit. There's a lot of character portraits and a lot of art in this. Uh, looks kind of hot. Ow, it is hot. Ugh. Huh? My my controller's vibrating again. Oh, swallow again. <laughs> I, I'm a squirrel with a nut. Get that nut squirrel. Not the poo poo you wanted, but look what I what I just caught. Ah, oh, nice. Hey, what's up? Give me a sec. Uh, nutkin. <gasps> nutkin! It's a rare pokey doodle. Where'd you find it? Shibuya! Showed up right in the middle of the crossing. Huh? Shibuya? No way. Mira Shibuya, me too. Dude. Who you texting? Who is this mystery person? Mm. Just a friend. I met through Spango. So they found something good at the crossing. Nice! So, um, what's the Fango? A game. Oh, right! That monster collecting thing! Is it fun? Can I try? Should be around here somewhere. Who? The monsters? Which one? Want to catch them? Want to catch them all? What? No, my friend. Oh! Wait, who's his friend and why haven't I met them? I mean, technically I haven't either. Whoa. Dude, and they're at the Scramble Crossing right now? Well, they were, but they probably left. Haven't even read my messages yet. But they just texted you, right? Even if they left, they couldn't have gone far. We can still get your friend and that monster. You know, two things with one you. I mean... Huh? No, it's... Forget it. Come on. Too late. My mind's made up. Let's move, Rin Dude. Rin, Rin Dude. So his name is Rin Taro? No, Rin... Rindo. Yes, Rindo and Fret. <laughs> These are all the areas I've discovered. Uh, okay, I guess oh, we're going back this way. Huh? Huh. Oh, pardon me. No worries. Uh, See, what I tell you about texting and walking? Eyes on the road, buddy. It's called peripheral vision. More like a blind spot. Less talking, more walking. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's the guy. He's staring at me. Ah, shit. This step on his. Uh, God damn, why is it all just go through everything? No, it's one of them. It's one of the Reaper dudes. Generic Reaper guy with red sweatshirt. How could I possibly forget him? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, I get the strike. I can look, I can actually look at the, uh, this whenever I want. Does this work for, like, just, like, random people? Maybe it does. Well, that's a good thing, then. I, can, I guess I can go back and read this if I miss it. I didn't step on his shoe or something, did I? Let's see, if I run to another person. Okay, what to eat? What is that? Wait. I can. I don't know why it's... I do find it a little weird. I guess the point is to not make you have to stop and read something like you just keep going but i am finding it a little awkward like it's seriously it's so fast that like i have no chance to read it out loud at least oh i can save save whenever i want nice i'll just go ahead and do it real quick uh okay uh let's keep running another damn bottle of called recycling get squashed little little bugs i guess yeah uh, wait is there a spot over here oh my god Okay, the bad thing is these things keep popping up. Every, every time these things pop up, it actually closes my my radar. Oh, no entry, I see. Did you bring a scramble? We can't get to the crossing that way. What the? Huh? Oh. It was literally waiting for the NPCs to stop talking. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? Where am I going? I just want out, man. So who exactly are we looking for? Dude, just forget it. Oh, cool. It's like a cool cutscene. What the? 
Oh, God. What's going on? Is any of this for real or not? Rin, dude. You okay? The hell was that? No! Did you see that? Nobody gives a shit. They're shooting off fireworks. Let's check it out, Rin, dude. Dude, wait up. Dude, Rin, dude, dude. No, oh, wait, no, it's just demons. Ah, oh, take that. Dog, you fuck. Whoa, it's like a movie about people who can do that thing. Ah, uh, what's that called? You know, the brain power thing. What is that called? It's gonna drive me crazy. Come on, Telekinesis? Think. Oh, psychokinesis? Bingo! That. Uh, Fred, how come we're the only ones paying attention? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe they're all part of the crew? <laughs> Are we already dead? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm starting to get one too. Greetings. Uh huh. Sheeple of Shibuya. Got some red hot news for you. Oh. <laughs> now I got a horrible feeling. Run! <laughs> A new game has finally begun. <laughs> finally. The simulator. This doesn't seem to be taking that long. Taking place that long after the last one. Fred, look out! If the ending of the other game is anything to go by. <gasps> I've seen this before. You about to die, today, dude? Eat shit, Fred. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Fucking dead. What the hell? Ah, I can feel it. The power. Wait, what's happening? Whoa! Holy shit. Greetings. <gasps> People of Shibuya. Oh my god. Did I use the Monado's power? Red hot news for you. Now I got a horrible feeling. Fret, run! Not that way. It's a truck. A new game Change the future. I don't know what's going on or what any of this means. Just make it stop! I'm gonna look over my I got my friend's arm in my hand. Oh god. That was close. Yeah, it would have been you, dude. <laughs> Looks like the action is really heating up. Holy shit. Oh shit, me skin real. Does she have show on her book bag? Holy shit! Oh god, I hope this song isn't copyrighted. Please let me leave this in here. Gonna spoil who this character is already? Nagi! Apparently so. For a second, I thought that might be Shiki or Shiki or like her original self. But then again, Shiki did have like, I think, brown hair. Hey, there he is. I mean, uh, that's that's just show. Hey, oh yes, and the other thing, that was also that that girl right there. Neku was having visions of her, in that secret ending as well. There wasn't really any clarification about who she was or what was going on in that regard, though. He just saw visions of her like walking down the street. Damn, damn. Uh, Rindo looking like fucking uh, Ventus in that scene. Oh god. Sass sassy goth girl. This is cool. It's actually really neat how they're using clearly just uh, 3D models, right? But still emulating that uh, that hand-drawn uh, aesthetic pretty well. Hmm. 
Holy shit. Music's getting angry. The power of God. I still haven't figured out what that chin strap is. I imagine it's a mask pulled down, but he never puts it up. Why right, is so the game yelling at me? They're so angry. Cool. Cool intro. Whew. So what game was that guy talking about? And why is it so dangerous? Your guess is as good as mine. Are you kidding? More new players? <sighs> and here I thought I was done for the day. Rindo Kanade. Tosai Furusawa. Um, can we help you? Miss... Shoka Sakurane, one of the Reapers. Oh my god. She's got a tail. She's got a Mr. Mew uh, hoodie. That's adorable. Don't play dumb. I saw your Sykes. Which means now I've got to get you bozos registered. Are we dead already? Uh -huh. Registered for what? For the Reapers game? For the gate. Did you not notice that your phones got updated, or...? Look at us with touch anyway, touch phones now. Awesome. Welcome to the RNS. No more flip phones for us. RNS? Reaper Networking Service. Be sure to check the official account. Official account? Yes. And these are your starter pins. What for? I think it looks familiar, actually. You earn points with them. Earn enough points, you win the game. But how do we earn points? And what is this game? <sighs> Look, my shift's over. So ask someone else, would you? <laughs> like another player or another Reaper. Literally anyone but me. And I'm out. Later, losers. <gasps> We're gonna get the hoodie. We're cheeky. Uh, uh, did she just say Reaper? Like Grim Reaper? I mean, that's what I heard. <laughs> Yikes, she was giving off some scary vibes. Almost as scary as those explosions. I think those were part of this game, too. Hmm? What were those? Batman. Pterodactyl. Okay, cool. I already like this guy more than Neku's at the start of the other one. That's good. Just him and his dumb pal. Dat one. So there's seven days in the original re uh, hmm. the original game. Where did this come from? Imagine it'll probably work ah, the same way. Right, must be that RNS. But wherever it came from, it looks like it replaced my usual app. Huh? It says something about a team, like a group chat. Want to make one? Not much point when you're the only one left in my contacts. Man, I wish that girl would have actually explained things. Yo! What the fuck? You kids must be the newbies. <laughs> oh, fresh out of the box, ain't ya? That's not the voice I was expecting to come from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, ho. <laughs> All right, this guy's my new favorite character already. What's so funny? You just couldn't help yourselves, could ya? Should have made a quiet move and teamed up with a pro instead of painting a big old target on your backs. Target? Us? You start in last place. You get stuck down there. And before you know it, you get a race. Get your ass slapped. You're one hell of a poison disc, bro. Bro. W well, who are you then? The name's Kaiji Suzuki. Those arms. Kaiji Suzuki. But my teammates call me Suzuki-chi. We ruin bringers are the best team in the game. Is that so? Good for you. By game, do you mean this whole Reapers game thing? Wait, why am I even taking this guy seriously? <laughs> why does everyone else know what's happening but us? game you're playing. I'd say it's only a matter of time till somebody sweeps ya. Won't be us, though. Not yet, at least, seeing as you're starting so far behind. Too bad. But hey, maybe you got some untapped potential. Only one way to find out.
you want to stave off erasure? Then see if you can handle the noise. Uh, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Do you even know how to scan, bro? <laughs> Do you even you scan, don't bro? Hear the noise, you see it. And to do that, you gotta focus. Close focus. Your eyes, quit thinking and just feel. I'm actually wondering. So it's it's on by default every time a cutscene starts. Maybe I should try. Actually, yeah. Maybe that would fix the the NPC talking. Then I think it's still on, isn't it? In my options. Maybe if I turn that off, by default it won't automatically scroll through these, and then also by default it won't scroll through the NPCs. Maybe. Mm. I'll try that. Huh? What the hell? Whoa. What? And so it begins. Blacks played their disc white to move. Every region is yours for the taking. It's flip or get flipped. Erase or face erasure. That's how you play the game. A minute to pick up, a lifetime to perfect. Flip what? He lost me. Don't sweat it too much. You ain't gonna get it right the first time around. So just play the game and keep it loud. Do I gonna scratch my head and rub my belly? And if I see your discs trying to make any quiet moves, I'll break the board in two. <laughs> Does he mean us? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's having fun. Did you understand any of that? How the hell could I? I haven't understood a single thing that's happened since you picked up those creepy pins. Hey, can't spell confusion without fun, right? Never heard of a game where you see sounds or whatever, but it might be cool, let's do it. Whatever you say. Uh, press R1 to scan your surroundings. Scanning will visualize enemies known as noise. Such the symbols first thing to initiate combat. Initiate combat, hold on a second. Let me, uh, let's turn this off. Are there any NPCs around? I can uh, trigger here. Oh, now no, now nobody wants to talk. Let's have a look. Uh, hey, there we go. Oosh. Fight. Uh, fight with the power of pins. Rindo and the gang can tap into their latent psychic powers using the pins they've equipped. Press the button assigned to a given pin to unleash his corresponding psych. Tilt the left stick to move the character you last used. Target foes by tilting the right stick and evade their attacks by pressing the X button. Ready? Okay. So they like like cycle through characters or something? Keep it together. Yeah, yeah, okay. So yeah. slap, 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 slap. Drop the beat. Hey, Let's drop the beat me. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and then... Okay, right stick is changing the lock on. Okay, he's, so he's like a long distance. Oh, I see. Drop the beat means I want to cycle to a different character. Yeah, for like an extra something. Beginner's luck. What? I thought we didn't. They're to five. This is our first day. Come on. So, uh, how do we manage to do that? What? Hell if I know. Okay, be honest, buddy. How cool did I look just now? It was like AR or something. Yeah. <laughs> Except instead of augmented reality, it was awesome reality. Hey. Seriously? That's what you're t worried about? Well, what else am I supposed to worry about? Don't ever think it, my Rin dude. Just embrace the cool superpowers. Oh. <laughs> Wait, let me check something. Let's see. Welcome to the Reaper's game. Access the RNS. Find the official account. Today's mission here. Utilize your Sykes to erase the target. Receive your orders before the faithful dog. The path to the target shall open to those who follow. Oh, that's right. Everything was like fucking riddles. Yes, sir, Mr. App, sir. So, faithful dog. Think they're talking about Hachiko? Don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out. Which it would be. By heading over to old Hachiko and seeing it for ourselves, of course. Yeah, not like we got anything better to do. Uh, press the touchpad during combat to pause the action. If you're not feeling a fight, it's like run away and your, your team will split. Keep in mind that you won't be able to run from every encounter. Cool. Blue Reaper's game orders. 
Blah, 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 blah. You can talk about butter and toast. What? I said something. Whoa. What the? Huh? What is it now? Well, I was just taking my galaxy brain for a test run and do quit missing around. You'll summon more of those monsters. Nah, we could take them. We'll be fine. You say so. <laughs> this guy's way too chill about having these sweet demon powers. Anyway, I was so saying before you so rudely interrupted me. I did the scanning thing and suddenly I could hear these voices. Like the people around us? See, that's what I thought. But check it out. Their lips aren't moving. I can hear your thoughts. And now I can't tell where the voices are coming from. Huh. That is kind of weird. Like you're reading people's minds or something. Whoa. That's it? Mind reading? Maybe. Give it a whirlwind, dude. See for yourself. Might as well, I guess. Okay, I remember you could do this in the original game, too. Read their thoughts. Teenage heartthrob. Uh, armor scan your surroundings. Scanning will also allow you to hear people's thoughts. Press X button near one of these pensive persons to get an even clearer idea of what's on their mind. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Focus. This is my, my first class reading in 10 whole years. What do I do if I, if I fall from my first level all over again? Should I break up with my boyfriend? Decisions, decisions. <laughs> Dang, we really can't read people's minds. This is so cool. Man, I'm getting all psyched up. Very funny. So this is part of the game too. How does that even work? Don't know, don't care. Come on, let's, let's get to Hachiko. Wouldn't want to be late. No. Late for what? Fret. Jeez, what's the deal with this game? So these new powers of ours, do you think they're connected to the pins you bought? You mean like no pins, no powers? Yeah. <laughs> ah, I didn't consider that. Uh, the answer is no. <laughs> I'll just scroll through that part. Was this how this uh, last game started too? Do we have to go to a statue just like this? Or am I misremembering? Oh, God. Hey, dude. What up, bro? So this is the Hachiko we're looking for? Mm. Pretty sure it's the only Hachiko. Huh? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I like it's always the same dude. So the same looking dude, right? This is supposed to be like the generic Reaper guy. But he always wears a big old red hoodie and got his hands in his pockets and he can't see his face for whatever reason. It's just me or does that guy over there seem kind of creepy? No, yeah, he's totally sus. Sup? Sup. Hey, hey, you two, you, you players. Ah, oh, shit, he's talking to us. What do we do? Calm down there, pal. You kids struck me as a couple of newbies. We do? We do? I mean, I guess technically we are. Okay. I knew it. Just trying to get yourselves a race right out the gates. Yes, sir, got it, sir. Disappearing doesn't sound so bad right now, actually. Don't be like that. You gotta play to w play to win. Now, ready for your mission. Have a look. Huh? Mission? Does that mean the game is starting? Let's see. Reveal the skull's true colors. Yep, that's what it says. Uh, skulls? What skulls? Where are they? And how do we find them? Try using your own two skulls and figure it out. Okay, but what are these stripes all about? And what do A, B, C, and D mean? Hmm, I feel like I've seen this somewhere. Should be a piece of cake. Just think Shibuya. Oh, the stripes of the, the crosswalk. It's the scramble crossing. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? Uh, so we just go A, B, C. Okay, if we do like a do like a Z here. Okay, but I'm still stuck in the letters. Maybe they're supposed to mark places around the crosswalk? Guess you better check them out. Once you figure out those skull colors, head back here. Have fun. Um, so much fun. Anyway, we heading up the crosswalk? Yeah, let's head to the spots labeled A through D. What do you think will be there? <sighs> Won't know until we go. Hope this whole thing doesn't give us too much trouble. Better list up everything we find so we don't get confused. I mean, okay, so we're just gonna run over here and I guess... Holy shit, the perspective is getting all weird again. Let's have a look. Hot off the press. I'm a guest in volume my favorite mystery series. Uh, Tassido should have a copy, right? May I find another fun novel while I'm there? Uh, uh, as seen on TV. Uh, I'm just a Shibuya, no big deal. Whoa, scroll across, so cool. Is that the 104? Oh, Shibuya, Shibuya Hikari. Just like in the movies, dude, bro. Just like that one video game I played with a whole bunch of anime people. Oh shit, I'm anime! Let's have a look. Hipster, what? Hipster cred? Whoa, so when did I root? Uh, I have this many subscribers, follow them for years, and I, have, and I just noticed. 
happy for them, but I hope they don't become they don't become a sellout. Okay, this is like at least it's not auto scrolling. Elephant March. Oh my gosh, an elephant marching through the town and dinosaurs just killed that building. See, our sunglasses are the best. What? AR sunglasses. Okay, so we got. Okay, so apparently we're at B right now. Sweet. Any spooky, scary skulls around? Hey. Ah, there it is. What? Where? Up on that Jumbotron. Jumbo, Jumbotron. Oh. Hey, you're right. There's a blue skull. Man, screen time on that thing can't come cheap. Running this game must cost a fortune. I bet. Guess it's a pretty big deal. Right? Anyway, we found our skull, B for blue. Interesting, like, so, like, right off the bat, we're not, like... <laughs> I mean, we're, we're pretty easy going with the whole supernatural element here. But we're just seeming like, like, oh, this is a fun random game. And not, like, a fight for fucking life and death. Uh, okay, so B for blue. <laughs> yeah, we totally got this. I guess I must have passed by the other one, then. It's supposed to be over here, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I see. It's right here. Uh, yeah, yellow. This should be where A is. Hmm? Yep, and look. On the sign. <laughs> a yellow skull. Neat. <laughs> Neat. That makes A yellow. And with that, uh, what is done? Damn, we're so smart. Quick. Like, God, we're not colorblind. Yeah, Rin, dude. Was this wall of thorns always here? <laughs> Don't think so. Looks pretty painful, too. Let's not mess with it, shall we? Yeah, better just turn back. Mm -hmm. Back on around, everyone else is passing through it like it's nothing. It's just us or what? I'm kind of curious at what point we would have died. Unless it was like before the game started, but didn't we get served a ramen? Dodge that suspected what? Your head's completely empty. Had a look inside, huh? Yeah, what a waste. Ha ha. Hmm. I can think you read random people's thoughts but not each other. And that's a good question. The pins? Let's go with that. Is this C? I'm gonna go with yes. No skulls though. Except the ones in these people's heads. Probably not those, but that does give me an idea. Hey. Oh, well, let's hear it. Mm -hmm. We could try scanning the area for a hint. Ooh, I gotcha. Maybe somebody will point us in the right direction. Yeah, worth a shot anyway. Let's have a look. Oh, red. I thought <laughs> arm art. Red's armpit for a second. I finally inked my arm with the tattoo of my tattoo of my dreams. My girl doesn't dig the purple skull, but I think it looks sick. Besides, it's just a wash off sticker. <laughs> it's just a wash. Damn, I just got the greatest tattoo of my life. It's a purple skull. I'm such a savage. I can wash it off though. I'm not that savage. You hear that? A purple skull. Wow, cool. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Nice. So C is purple. <laughs> Man, we're so smart. I'm so good at video games. Okay, well, there's that one. I think this is D. Okay, I don't see any skulls, though. Yep, no skulls. Except for the one on the ground. Uh, Wait, what's this weird mark? Uh, on the manhole cover? Looks like one of those noise symbols. Worth investigating, if you ask me. Think we have to fight something? Most likely. Let's give it a scan, then. Scans. Whoa. Uh, using a psych will consume energy from the gauge displayed below its pin. When the gauge is depleted, you'll have to wait until the pin reboots to use the psych again. Okay. Yeah. Was... Brain, activate. Don't get careless. So I see a groove meter, uh, the team HP. Uh, okay. Can I? So good. Let's keep it going. Okay. I, yeah, I think I'm seeing so. Drop the beat. Uh, and then it's like alternate to the other person for like probably extra shit, right? Yeah. Oh, it knocks my gate. Yeah, it's knocking my gauge up. My groove gauge. It's probably how much damage I do. I feel like we deserve better. Ah, shut up. Man, we're almost too good at this. All right, let's not get carried away. <laughs> I'm serious, though. This game's like walking the park. Maybe I'm a natural born psych prodigy. Uh-huh, sure. Red dude, this is a game. It's supposed to be fun. Listen up and play along. Wow, Fred. You're so amazing, cool, and good at everything. Right? 
Finally, the recognition I deserve. Give me a break. Love that for you. Okay. So, you see that over there? <gasps> Red. Where? Oh, the mantle cover? <gasps> it loves us. Looks like a skull, and it's a red one. So D is red. All right, that's it. Hey, the official account just went live. Greetings. Oh, okay, that's it. I guess I, I'm just gonna say that word. Greetings, sheeple of Shibuya. This is your game master, Shiba speaking. Ah, uh, like the dog. <laughs> Hope you're having fun on this day one. Got some red hot news for you. Hey, I remember him. It's the guy who screamed you at the crossing yesterday. One team has managed to complete today's objective. Wait, somebody else already finished the mission? I guess. Didn't really realize there was anybody else. Hmm. The rest of you might want to light a fire under your asses. Especially if you want to be the first to take down the target. So, who's it going to be? Are the Deep River Society finally going to pull themselves out of the gutter? Maybe even knock the Ruin Bringers off their throne and take the top spot. It's anyone's game, folks. Who's going to prove they've got the brains and the brawn to win it all? Maybe it'll be our dark horse. Rindo's group. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> Looks like somebody's not afraid of putting themselves out there. <laughs> yeah, Rindo. Egotistical much? <laughs> what? I didn't name it. I didn't name the group at all. Whatever you call yourselves, I want to hear that name thunder through the booyah. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Or else. Do. And with that, I bid you adieu. Jeez, what a douche. He sure seemed stoked about this whole game thing. A little too stoked, if you ask me. More importantly, hey. what the hell is Rindo's group? Oh, yeah. I was going to ask you the same thing. Uh... I mean, I guess I might kind of sort of have an idea of what it is, but you know. Fret, what'd you do? Well, you see, this window popped up asking if I want to create a team. Like a group chat, right? And then it asked me to pick a leader, which was weird for a group chat, but I just kind of put your name there. And then I guess it went with the default name since I got tired of typing stuff. So, uh, Rindo's group. So you're telling me you signed us up as a team? <laughs> I guess I did, but it's not so bad, right? I mean, that guy basically called us the superstars of Shibuya. At least we could do is play along. <sighs> if we're gonna play, let's at least come up with a better name. <laughs> uh... Showed up right in the middle of the crossing. Uh, you're in Shibuya, me too. Hey, Swallow, did you hear about the event in Shibuya? Apparently it's some kind of game and everyone has to play. Don't know what it's all about, but I'll make sure I win. Ha ha. Let's get it. I wonder if they're even still around. Are these messages hey. going anywhere? So what are we gonna do about our name? I don't know. Well, you better come up with a name soon. Or else it'll be, the game will be over before you do. Or else it was my, my sole responsibility. All right, guys. I think this is probably actually a good place to end things here for now. I don't, I don't usually like the first episode being too, too long, but it's cool. It's up to an, it's up to an interesting uh, interesting start. Definitely, so far, it feels a lot more casual at the start than the uh, original game did, where the beginning, the beginning of the game was like, you're fucking dead. You got to get yourself back to life, motherfucker. You better hurry up. You will fight for your fucking life or for your soul. I imagine that we are similarly deceased. But I wonder exactly what point did that happen? Maybe that that cutscene we saw has already happened and we're already dead? But the city's still here, so I I don't know. And seemingly uh the main guy, Rindo here, has like the power of the fucking Monado. As you can see, the future! It's interesting. I'm uh, looking forward to this. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe and already become Piggy Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy!